Hey guys, Chance Reynolds here from ChanceReynolds.com. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about creating digital products. So one of the things that I've uh, changed in my business over the last year is that I've started incorporating a lot of my own digital products. Before I was only selling digital products as an affiliate, which is good and it's lucrative, but once you start building some skill sets, um, which if you're selling other courses as an affiliate, especially courses that you've taken, you should have some skills that you've learned from those courses. You will gain skills as you go through courses. And I see a lot of people leaving a lot of opportunity on the table because they're afraid that like they have to ask for permission to create courses off of skills that they have learned. I'm here to tell you that there's nobody that's going to stop you except for yourself when you're creating these digital products. Um, if you learn a skill, you can teach that skill, especially if you've paid to learn it. Like, What's the point of learning a skill, um, especially like in, in the make money online niche or like if you're trying to teach people how to make money? Um, what's the point of learning a skill that teaches you how to make money online or utilize the internet in a way that you can grow something that you want to grow if you cannot turn around and then teach that skill to someone else? The idea that someone else owns the intellectual property to teaching a skill is is um, just not factual and it's it's not something that should be holding you back. Now, obviously, don't go copy someone else's course and then put it out, put your name on it, and act like you came up with some process. Ideally, like you'll have something new to add from it. But the truth of these courses, um, most digital courses, is that they're a combination of a lot of skills that people have learned from a lot of different places. So it's not just every single thing in the in the course is some original angle on something. People want to buy things from people that they relate to. So 10 different people can be selling a course based on the exact same skill and they can all have success um, because they each have their own niche group of people that are gonna, you know, that they're gonna speak to better than anyone else could. So if you learn a skill, you can teach that skill. Um, obviously this is where this becomes most obvious is when you hire like some sort of business coach. So I've done some courses that include coaching and you better believe that like if I'm paying these people like a large sum of money and they're going out and they're learning things in these masterminds and from their coaches and they're not coming back and teaching us their students, I'd be pretty pissed off. Like one of their jobs, the job of a coach is to go out and learn a bunch of skills and then bring those skills back to the students and teach it to them. Again, this is an issue of speaking to the right uh, person, like who who do they wanna hear it from? They are not going to the coach's coach because they can't relate to that person, but the coach relates to that person. They relate to the coach, so they go to their coach. Um, I, <laughs> I hope that's not confusing. But um, yeah, if you're in the coaching industry, this is actually expected. So, so don't be afraid to learn a new skill and then teach that skill, especially if you're doing coaching. You have to think about this like a college. Like it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever if one college started teaching history and then, you know, UT Austin starts to has a history class. And then so, you know, Texas State and San Marcos, a neighboring college that I graduated from, um, says, oh, they've already, they've taught history. We can only teach English here. No, they're all gonna teach history. They're not only are they all teaching history, they're all teaching out of the same textbook. But guess what's different? The professors. All that's different is the, the person that's actually teaching it, the medium that is between the, the knowledge and the student um, is the person that's teaching it. And it's their job to go find the one that relates best to the students at that college. So I think that's a really, really great analogy. And if you look at it this way, you start to see opportunity everywhere. So if you start to build an audience as you should, um, you'll see the types of things that they want. A lot of times what they say they want is not really what they want. And so you have to look at what they're, the questions that they're asking, like maybe they don't even know what they want. Maybe they think that they wanna make passive income, but really what they're looking to do is create something that fills a time void for them that they actually wanna spend like 20, 30 hours a week doing this thing. because that makes them happy and that gives them the the successful feeling. It's not even really about the passivity of the income or anything. It's just about they want to create something themselves and use the creative their creative energy and juices to uh, 
actually produce their own income. And that's really more of the reward than the passivity of it. So people do things for a lot of different reasons. Um, and you have to, you have to kind of look at what the different angles are and it will show you different opportunity from existing skills that you already have. So you can take these skills, you can, um, go out to your audience, test the water, see if they're interested and just ask them. It doesn't have to be like some hidden manipulative thing. Like just be open about what you're doing. Hey, this is a skill that like I have. Is anybody here interested in learning how to use this tool to do this thing? If so, here, like reach out to me. If you get enough responses, then you can like build a little course around that or even like a, a paid Zoom, a paid webinar. You could build a use it as a freebie. Um, you can use it in some way in your marketing or you can use it as the end product of the marketing. So look for opportunity in the skills that you already have and don't be afraid to monetize the skills that you're learning. Like it's just completely outrageous to think that if you're learning these skills, you cannot turn around and teach them as well. Don't steal from people, but, um, you know, figure out your own twist on it and then figure out how to, uh, build out a course, which is pretty, pretty easy. Anyway, yeah, go to chancerentals.com right now to see what type of offers I have. One of the things I've been really pushing hard on are, are the digital courses, as you can tell from this content, but it's really about the um, marketing of the, of the digital courses that I think is kind of the most important thing. And this is another thing about being completely open and honest is that the, the organic marketing that I teach in Chan Man Affiliate Plan or the Easy Organic Affiliate Commissions doesn't necessarily have to be applied just to affiliate offers. And I, I've, I've done service-based stuff, I've done affiliate, and then now I've, I've really kind of scaled up some digital products using the exact methods I teach in that course. If you're interested in that, go to chancerentals.com. Um, it's open for enrollment right now. Google News course is also there. So yeah, if you're doing just like mass page building, something like that. Google News is probably more for you if you're doing local SEO, something like that. If you're trying to build up digital courses or sell affiliate stuff through your personal Facebook profile, um, that's the quickest way to do it. I teach you a play-by-play, step-by-step, everything that I've done to build a service-based business, affiliate-based business, and then now digital products as well in that course. So check it out. Love you guys. Have a good one.